So Chris here, child support court is not part of the judiciary branch. Third party contract laws being applied is an illusion. So the agency that collects child support is an administrative agency of your state government, most likely. Um, and then they are separate from the court and the, the family courts or the judges who are going to hear the matter. That's why when you have child support matters, at least here in California, it is the state of California. So Department of Child Support Services representing the state of California in uh, requesting child support against another parent. So it'll be the state of California v parent, the, the parent who's going to be paying child support and then listed as an other party would be that parent who's receiving. So the agency that collects child support is separate from the court that hears it. Obviously, they work closely together. These attorneys are in front of these judges on a daily basis, but one's an administrative agency that's purpose is to uh, collect child support, enforce child support orders. The other one is the judicial branch that's making decisions in the court. And a lot of times those things merge together because it does feel like uh, the, uh, the, the judges very much will side with the, with the agency, um, with the department of child support services more often than not. So you kind of see a merging of those two things together, but yeah, it's, it's, they're, they're, they're two very distinct entities. Um, if not, it would cause, um, it would cause legal issues. So that's, uh, that on, on that front that that's, that's where we're at. So one is technically would be part of the executive branch and administrative agency. The other one's going to be judiciary.